Hey, this is Derek from Europtic.com and look what we have here, the brand new Accuracy International AXSR, which is available at Europtic.com. Right, now this is the successor to the AXMC that came out about six years ago. We love that rifle. Its accuracy, its multi-caliber nature of it, and the quality really impressed us. And we've been waiting anxiously to see how they could possibly make it even better. And they did. When we get down to the details of the AXSR, we will see that they made some subtle but very clever changes to keep it at the top of the tree for many types of precision shooting. The first thing that you might notice about this rifle is the buttstock redesign. Now the AXMC did have a piece that kind of extended up and over to complete a buttstock that had a shape kind of like this. Only problem with that is it made taking out the bolt a little difficult and it was kind of annoying because since you had to fold the stock to just a certain way to get that bolt out. But now you can take the bolt out cleanly without having to fold the stock. So while the barrel change and the magazines are the same between the AXMC and the AXSR, the bolts are not. The safety mechanism is different on the AXMC versus the AXSR, and the bolt dimensions are a little bit different. So later this year, when we get more bolt bodies and accessories for the AXSR, you will need the AXSR specific bolt and bolt body. Now the comb and the buttstock are still adjustable on the AXMC, they were tightened with a sort of wing nut type design. On the AXSR, we have a lever system here, which is a bit easier to use than the old wing nut style. The buttstock can be adjusted for height, and you, you can also rotate it to fit it in the pocket of your shoulder. The length of pull can vary from 13 to 16.5 inches. That's if you use the included one and a quarter inch spacer that's with the rifle when it ships. The second thing you might notice is the change to the grip. Now the AXMC kind of had a sort of body skin type design that wasn't the favorite of everyone, but they really improved it with this ergo grip. You can take it off if you want to, but honestly, I wouldn't even bother. The trigger has been upgraded to their competition trigger as standard with the range of adjustments from 12 ounces to two pounds two or single stage. When it's on two stage, it is a 50-50 weight distribution between first and second stage. One nice feature that survived from the AXMC with the trigger is the fact that you can move it forward and backward in this little dovetail here to get that perfect placement of the trigger on your finger. Moving up, the safety is now a two position ambidextrous, as is the mag release in the ambidextrous sense. You can manipulate it from the grip of the rifle without having to use your offhand, which is very nice. The rail is a 20 minute now instead of 30 that was on the AXMC. And a big difference that is not obvious is the receiver is no longer bonded to the chassis. And they, they were able to do this and still maintain the strength and, and the integrity of the whole system, but now it's a bit easier to service, a bit easier to adjust the trigger and do that sort of stuff as well. Now these little red circles here, you might have noticed, there's one on this side as well. These are a sort of blast channel, it's a safety mechanism that's built into the rifle. Should there be some kind of catastrophic failure of the ammunition or a barrel blockage of some sort, then all that energy that's in the barrel is going to be vented out these, these channels here, which is good because usually in a situation like that, it'll blow up your barrel, blow up your receiver, and even take out part of your scope. So this will save your scope and save most of the rifle, and more importantly, it'll protect you from any sort of harm or injury. The magazine is the same that's on the AXMC, so there's no changes there. Moving forward, we now have an Arca Swiss rail on the balance point of the rifle. So if you do want to mount this on a tripod, this is where you do it. They do extend that Arca Swiss rail all the way forward on the handguard here. It does come with a Picatinny rail for a bipod. This long range accuracy is not included, but we have it here for demonstration. If you are new to Accuracy International, you have to be careful. These little slots here are not key mod. It is a proprietary system from AI that they call key slot. So if you do want to add some accessories to this, you would have to use a key slot system. But the good thing is it does come with a good selection of Picatinny rails. Looks like four of them. Two on this side also have flush cup mounts for slings. 
Now the barrel is a BART line and is their 2018 profile, so it's a bit thicker than the barrel that's on the AXMC. Here at the muzzle, the diameter is 0.988 inches. The muzzle brake is a standard American Precision Arms Gen 2 Fat Bastard, which is a very good decision. These brakes are very effective. And beneath the muzzle brake is a thread of 3 quarter by 24. So that is the Accuracy International AXSR rifle. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell to be notified of uh, future videos. We will have links in the description to our Facebook page and everything that you see on this table. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram. Lastly, if you do want to be made aware of products, promotions, and other specials, please sign up for our emailing list, which is available on Europtic.com.